Good morning, Amelia. I hope your week is going well. Um, this tutorial is uh, basically how you can capture images using a text editor for content on your site, in particular for the grad site. Uh, this has been set up on the grad site only, so let me know if you want it on any other uh, sites uh, that are within your within your responsibility and all. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm on the page uh, that you sent me and uh, we're going to, in a very simple way, add an image um, uh, caption on this photo. So let's go into editor. Let's yeah, go and edit current. All right, now here's the image. Let's go ahead and select that. Right mouse click and select image properties. Now, uh, one thing I want to point out. You brought up a very good point. Because uh, originally I set this up so that it would just read whatever is in the alternative text and all. And it's mandatory that you always have to have something descriptive in the alternative text. Now, one thing I didn't take into consideration is that when I do the alternative text. I'm, I'm pretty descriptive and all. Um, but I realize, I now realize there are other units on campus where there are a lot of people, a lot of hands that touch the site, students, faculty, staff and all, and they may not be quite as descriptive as say I am or, or as you are or anyone else. So, you know, you may not want that alternative text displayed by default on your site. Um, I didn't realize that. I realize it now. So thank you, thank you for pointing that out. That, that was that was a good that was a good catch. Uh, so yeah. So we need to find a better way to do that. Now by default, um, when you upload an image to the site, it does not get what's called a title. I looked over the code and I realized that I could manipulate it so that if you added a title to an image, it would pull that title and you could use that as your image caption. Um, so I played around with the code and I found something that points to this. So I just kind of switched it around instead of it looking for alternative text. I set it up so it now looks for advisory title. Um, and that's what we're going to use because again by default images do not have a title. So we're going to give it a title and it's going to use that as the caption. So let me go back into your email and yeah right here this is what we want as the caption. Let me go ahead and copy that back into the page. We're going to paste it in here. And again, that's um, on image properties. By default, you on image info. Just click on advanced under advisory title. Put what you want the photo caption to be. Click OK. Save it. All right, it's looking good here in the revision. So let's go ahead and publish this. Alright, let's view it. And there it is. Uh, so, yeah, that looks good. Uh, I'm happy with that. Um, so, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're happy with that, if that's if that'll work for you. Uh, so, if you would, please feel free to send me an email, give me a call, let me know how this works for you. Um, I hope you have a good rest of your week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.